Hi, my name is Susanna, and today I'll show you how to prepare apple pie bars from the Kraft Kitchens. It's a fantastic dessert that packs a flavor punch. For the first step, add one package of Philadelphia brick cream cheese that's been softened to your bowl. Now I'll add one cup of softened butter. Using your mixer, blend well. Gradually add three cups of flour, mixing well on low speed after each addition. Once the cream cheese mixture is blended, shape into two balls like I have here. Now we'll take one and place it on a piece of wax paper coated with flour, and we'll just push it down a little bit. Once it reaches this shape, we'll top it with one more sheet of wax paper that's been coated with flour. And now using our rolling pin, I'll roll it out so it's 15 and a half by 10 by a half inch rectangle. I'm using wax paper because it prevents the dough from sticking to the work surface and it also makes it a lot easier to transfer to our baking pan. So now we'll discard this top layer of wax paper. And now I'll invert a 15 by 10 by one inch baking pan over the dough, and I've coated this with cooking spray. Now we'll grab the bottom sheet of wax paper, flip it over, and we'll remove this sheet of wax paper. Now gently spread the dough on the bottom and up the sides of your pan. Now it's time to make the filling. In my bowl, I have 10 Granny Smith apples peeled and sliced, about nine cups. To that, add a quarter cup of flour. Now add one and a quarter cup sugar and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And now toss to coat. Put the mixture on top of your crust and spread it out. Now repeat rolling out your other dough ball to create a second rectangle. Now carefully flip the dough over the apples and discard the wax paper. Then tuck the dough along the sides of the pan to completely enclose the apples. Now cut several slits in the top crust to help vent the steam. Now pop it in the oven at 400 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes or until golden brown. And once baked, allow it to cool for about 15 minutes. Lastly, in a small bowl, add 3 quarters cup of icing sugar and 1 tablespoon of water. Mix well. Drizzle over the dessert and let it cool for 30 minutes before cutting into bars. This recipe gives you 16 delicious apple bars. Try it and I guarantee it'll become a family favorite. For more great recipe ideas and cooking tips, visit